Okay, we're back at it here, home built. And we have this Chevy. No codes on the dash, other than a little washer fluid. And I'm going to show you the, the helpful thing about this health report. Because I know this car has issues. My little helper here. Just crawling around, making a mess. And what this will do is go through and it'll pull up any faults on any of the modules. And it'll scan every single module. And it'll tell you if there's a fault in that module and it'll flag it. And why that's helpful is sometimes the fault will log and then it'll see what it needs to see and it'll go inactive. And once it goes inactive, if you key cycle, your engine light's going to go off. Some of your lower end scanners might not pick this stuff up. Uh, it's the nice thing about some of the higher, higher dollar, I'm not going to say higher end because this really isn't a high end scanner by no means, but it is a, a more expensive one. And should be done. Yep. So we can see that it's got codes in the engine control module. And we scroll down. The main ones I'm looking at because I know what issues it's having. Sorry, it's getting all shaky. The little man's bumping me. Uh, fire control module. And it pulls the codes right up here. So we have wheel speed circuit faults. Uh, I believe this is going to be a wheel bearing. Uh, this is a GM. They're kind of known for the tail wheels getting cruddy. Yeah, and I'm sorry. It's getting shaky. Little dude's bumping me. <laughs> anyway. So, and then, of course, the engine is cutting out once in a while. And we have a fault for accelerated pedal position sensor. That's uh, a circuit voltage code. Uh, being that it's intermittent, it's pretty intermittent it's not happening even every time you drive it it's maybe every couple hundred miles or every, just real erratic uh, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to replace it replace the accelerator accelerator pedal position sensor which i believe is in the, on the actual pedal itself i think it's a whole pedal assembly and then i'm going to look at the wheel speed sensor circuit Again, that's one that's not coming up very often. Uh, it's likely a, a bad sensor or the wheel bearing. I think these ones have the wheel bearings built into the hub assembly, so I believe we have the hub assembly sitting here to get it put on this car. So it's just an interesting little thing. I figured I'd show you guys. As usual, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to keep trying to bring you as much of this stuff as I can that I could find uh, being somewhat useful to somebody. I'll probably pop a video up of what I actually find with this thing later on. Thanks for watching. Till next time. See ya.